The binary entropy function, which is a function that measures the entropy of a binary discrete random variable, appears frequently in the analysis of a digital communication system. Because of this, we are going to introduce and to analyze this, uh, this function. The entropy of a random variable quantifies the uncertainty about the outcome of a random variable. And this can be understood as a measure of information because the higher the uncertainty about the result of an experiment, the higher the information that we get when we know the result. If we have a random variable with an alphabet of mx symbols, mx events, the entropy is the average of the self-information for every event. Basically, we have the addition of minus the probability of each event times the logarithm of this probability. It is possible to change the negative sign here by a positive sign here if we invert the argument of the logarithm. This is just because of the properties of the logarithm function. The base of the logarithm defines the units. The most common base is base 2. In this case, we have bits per symbol. This is more the most frequent base that is used in digital communication systems. Another alternative is the Euler number as a base. Then we have natural logarithms, and in this case, the units are nuts per symbol. But here, by default, we'll use base 2, bits per symbol. And this measure has two limits. The lowest possible value for the entropy of a discrete random variable is zero. And we have zero when we have no uncertainty about the result of the random variable. And the maximum value happens in the situation where we have the maximum possible uncertainty. And this happens when, a priori, all the possible events have exactly the same probability. Now we we'll introduce the uh, binary entropy function. This is a function with an argument, with, a, with this uh, probability, the argument is p, notation is h, b of p, or the Greek character omega of p. And this function represents the entropy of a binary random variable. The alphabet has only two elements. One of them has probability p, the argument of the function, and the other has the complementary probability, 1 minus p. If we apply the definition of the entropy, with these two probabilities, we have minus p times logarithm of p and minus 1 minus p logarithm of this probability, 1 minus p. It is possible to use positive signs here and to invert the argument in the logarithms to 1 divided by p or 1 divided by 1 minus p, respectively. If this function is plotted as a function of the argument p, we have the shape that we see in this picture. The Greek character omega is used because this shape is somewhat similar to this letter. And uh, in some cases, the function receives also the name horseshoe because the shape of this function is similar to a horseshoe. In any case, we can see that this function is symmetric. We have the same uh, entropy. If the argument is p, then when the argument is 1 minus p, we have zero uncertainty. When the probabilities are zero or one, in this case, there is no uncertainty about the result of the random variable, and the maximum uncertainty is equal to 1 if the units are bits uh, per symbol, and it happens for equiprobable uh, elements in the alphabet of the binary random variable. Sometimes this case, when we have here the maximum uncertainty equal to 1, is used as a reference, because in this case we have a bit per symbol as uncertainty, and this is the basic measure unit for the entropy. And we can understand in a comparison that to compare with a bit per symbol is to compare against the entropy, the uncertainty that we have in the outcome 
of an experiment of a random variable that is binary when the two possible events have exactly the same probability. This is the uncertainty that we have in a binary equiprobable random variable. Thank you.